Well, everyone, we're at our favorite place, Home Depot, a place where I don't like spending a lot of money. But we're here because I need... Wow, look at all the basil here. This stuff never grew. My basil is crazy. Tomato plants in here are bananas. Wow, $20 for a tomato plant for $15 in tomatoes. But uh, my flowers ain't doing so well, and I want to get to about August at least. So I was going to buy maybe three or four. The, uh, the Lee Sports Special didn't do too well this year. So here before thrifting, I know some people really like the garden aspect on the channel. Some people like the flowers. They like seeing them when I was planting them. We're going to try to find some things here and then uh, be onward. Right, made to the thrift. Man, somebody dropped off a whole collection of all this Boy Scout stuff. World scouting. It's amazing because when I see large collections, I think of other people who might have a similar interest. And if they ever came across like a huge collection like this, would they buy everything here? You know? Because the reality is, this is a very niche market collecting Boy Scout memorabilia. So many cups and mugs. Well, I'm supposed to look at frames. That's what I came here for. If you want the mount without the mount, there you go. I, uh, I did pick up some flowers, man, it's expensive. Flowers are expensive compared to what I paid for them. It's got some weight. So I think it's generally, what does it say? $7 you get on eBay for scrap pewter? So it's $5 at some yard sale and they never took off the price tag. And that's two bucks here. I don't know what silver plate buyers, that website, what they pay. I think it's five fifty or six. So you get a little bit more if you buy it on eBay. But if you can somehow get to silver plate buyers, I think they're in Maine or Vermont. It's much easier to just deal with someone in person rather than shipping and dealing with eBay fees and all that headache. Fire starters. This must have come from the Boy Scout stuff. Maybe, maybe not. There's a lot there. They're 10 bucks. Whoa, what's going on here? They're $10, but if you want these, they're $6. They're literally the same thing. Keep it like that so now someone sees it. Face shields. Yeah, face shield. Got some finds fresh off the rack. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think one of these shirts I can't show on YouTube because it's, I don't even know how they got through here. Kind of like that uh, Led Zeppelin one. That was insane. A while back, if you don't know about that shirt, it's a good shirt. Cool USA Olympics jacket. And then good old Free Willy. 1993 Free Willy shirt. I don't know if it's really worth a whole lot, but it's vintage. It's Free Willy. That was a. I feel like I've seen that movie 
way too many times in my life. That was like back when I was in uh, elementary school. We, uh, if it, if it rained, we watched movies during recess. I feel like Free Willy was one of those movies we watched nonstop. That and Willy Wonka, the original Walt Willy Wonka. I've seen that movie a hundred times, at least. Hollister. <clears throat> I heard Abercrombie is uh, rebranding re themselves and making like, I don't know if it's higher quality clothes. Abercrombie used to be like a really sought after brand, like way back in the day, like in the 30s. Like at least Abercrombie and Fitch they did a lot of fishing things, outdoorsman stuff. It's kind of a cool jacket, majestic. I miss the uh, the wave, majestic wave. Back in the day, and uh, I think it was Bangor, Pennsylvania. They used to have an outlet, an outlet store for majestic. I don't even know if majestic's still in the area. They used to be in Easton, and they used to. Uh, they used to sell all their defects at that store. And I was a little late to the party, so I never got to visit. But I'm sure it was an absolute money pit. Or I should say treasure trove for uh, good finds if you can only go back in time and buy stuff. But they used to have like really bad defects, like they'll have the front, like they'll have a jersey with like this, or like that logo, really big on the front, like a jersey, and have the same exact logo on the back. Like, did just not be like wearable, like sellable merch. Or they'll have like your number for like a baseball jersey and it'll be on both sides. Just random things that were like so defective. Can I have off? I'll go find out. We can ask. Yeah. We can ask. Yes. We're not I, we're not familiar with the stuff back here. Uh, yeah, we do clothes. Not but, uh, no, we'll ask. <laughs> I know at one time um they had a there was a sale of fifty percent off. Oh uh, okay. Sign away. That's what I, so I don't know if it's still yeah, they get in much of the in the I don't know if they need to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they need to do that. I don't know if they what the heck's going on there? Is this an original? Highly doubt it. Ah, it might be. Holy smokes. No, it's not 2014. It was the calm before the revitalization. Like I said, I think I looked up some Pokemon card box from 2012. That was like, I think it was one of the originals, uh, but it was sold in 2012. And it sold for like $18 or $20. And that same box sells for like four to $5,000 now. It's just, who would have thought, you know? That card business, I'm, I'm not into it at all. But I feel like that bubble is going to burst. And it's not going to be pleasant for all the new ones. It's going to just be a another cycle. It just matter what time does that bubble burst. Same with sports cards. Just the next wave of things. Okay, I had to make a little pit stop. Got some groceries here. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram uh, post the other day, I I've started my harvest on my garden. And uh, I made uh, fried zucchini. Came out really, really good. Um, really good. Like, I was shocked because anyone who has like raw zucchini, like if you enjoy that, I'm not gonna say there's something wrong with you, but 
you're probably not normal because that thing is disgusting. Uh, but fried zucchini, man, that stuff was good. I mean, I, it's up there with like mozzarella sticks and all that. Uh, so I made that and uh, now we're going to try zucchini cake. But if you didn't check me out, see it on Instagram. Go over there, like the post. If you don't follow me on Instagram, give me a follow. I've been trying to uh, be more prevalent on uh, other social media apps besides YouTube. I feel like that might be the new wave here shortly. Uh, so make sure to follow me on Instagram. Stay up to date with in the date or on the date Taco Stacks content. It's at taco underscore uh, stacks. And uh, yeah, harvest season, garden season. Zucchini cake coming out soon. Speaking of places to go, good old Nantucket. These are really nice. I think they're limited edition prints. I don't know enough about prints. I just tried to punch it in. It looks like it's kind of bowing out a little bit, so it's probably got some moisture in there. Um, but sometimes go to auctions and like prints like this, I'm like, oh, that should be in a box lot. They'll sell for like $150. So, oh, I don't know. And then sometimes like I'll find a box of them and it's like $3. So what's the deal? What am I missing? made it back I've been doing a lot of weeding look at the garden um, this is this zucchini stuff is just crazy you don't uh, I don't know what to do with the zucchini because it's getting a little out of hand so are the cucumbers but this is up there on the garden I'm gonna clip that one zucchini right there uh, so far been going pretty good here. Um, the weeds that have grown in the dirt, I wasn't really expecting them. They just popped up all at the same time, like all this right here. So um, that I thought was kind of interesting. Granted, I knew weeds would grow in. That's why I used the black, black plastic. Uh, all the tomato plants look great, except for this guy. The cherry tomatoes are starting to form. Some of the larger tomatoes, the heirlooms, they're also forming pretty well. Spinach is the only thing that I will never do again. Uh, but they're getting a little out of hand. I know I had a lot of people comment about the black plastic when I first started. I'll probably do a summary of what I will do next year as opposed to this year. This is obviously my first garden. Um... But the black plastic has been holding up pretty well and been doing what I thought it would. Do have some string beans, which I just put in the microwave yesterday for dinner. And uh, I don't know if you really have to wash them. I mean, they're as organic as possible. Tastes like a string bean. Really good. But yeah, this is my spinach. Didn't do so well. That's another thing of spinach. I mean, they were dead before this plant even grew on, on top of them, but they did just they just did terrible. Let's see if we have a pickle grown right there. Let's see if we find any larger ones. Just trying to get try and get this to grow that way rather than grow all over my green beans. But I don't think we'll have much left here anyway. Um, also have a very bad problem with these Japanese beetles are terrorizing my one basil plant. It's on this one. Uh, is it on that one? Yes, it is. So 
So yes, I've been posting more on Instagram with my garden build. Uh, also want to know, uh, cutting these, uh, these leaves off are probably not great for the plant, but I'm doing it so the other plants get sunlight. Let me know if I'm completely killing the plant by any means, but I think the zucchini are almost done for the year. Can't imagine these things growing for the next, I don't know how many, more weeks. There we go. It's a pretty decent size for zucchini. I don't know if I'll be able to, yeah, I can show you these beetles. This is my garden video of the day, of the week. But these beetles are just an issue. They really are. Look at them. They're starting on the next plant, too. Golly. Not a huge fan of them. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Got back to thrifting. Got that free Willie shirt. Um, also, I did... Uh, I did get the uh, the old salsa painting. I can't remember who painted it. Uh, but I know one of the subscribers that the channel did. I think there is a signature on it, so I apologize if you, you sent me the painting. But uh, I did get it framed into the frame I got from Goodwill. Uh, but I put that already. I already hung it up inside the house. So stay tuned for like probably the next video or two videos from now. I'll definitely show that. Uh, just wrapping up here in the garden. But... Thanks for tagging along. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Get back to thrifting. It was fun. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. We'll be on more treasure hunts very, very soon. So thanks for tagging along. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.